Network Crosstalk July 11th show. Sorry, we're running a little late, guys. Uh, we're out here trying to get other things going as well. We got a Kentucky show that we're releasing in the morning. Uh, we're also working on a pro sports page uh, show. So it's been a, been a rough day. If, if you hear the fan in the background, I, I don't want to hear it, man. It's a hundred. It's hot. It's 150 degrees. How you doing today, Mike? Hey, man. Doing fantastic as always, brother. All right, well, loving to hear it. We're going to dive right in. We missed you all last week, or hope you missed us. We, we took a little time off for 4th of July. Hope you had a good time. Hope you saved all your fingers. Uh, let's just start right in. National rankings. So I changed it. I'm not national rankings anymore. It's just Cross Sports Next Top 25. Take it for what you want. If you watch the show, you know who we're covering. You know what we're talking about. But that leads me. I, I saw something interesting. I kind of shared it on one of the pages. I catch a lot of flack for my rankings, but I at least pride myself in, in being informed. You may not agree with it, you may not love it, you may say this doesn't make sense, but I, I at least have talked to some right people and I at least kind of have an idea of what's going on. The one I saw, it had teams all over the country from every other different season, and I don't even know how you could pull that off. You got spring, you had some winter teams, you had some summer teams. And, and the biggest thing that shocked me, nowhere on it, was your Middle Tennessee Bulldogs. One of the best teams of the last two years. Another thing, but before you come in, you're like, well, maybe they didn't cover this area. Uh, Area Express was on it. They're in the same league. WPA Wildcats, they were on it. Ohio Raiders, they were on it. All that's in the same general facility. I have no problem, and then maybe you can't say, well, they didn't go that far south because there was Alabama teams, there was Florida teams, there was Georgia teams. I have no problem with some of the teams that was on it. Those are some really good teams, but how do you not have the Middle Tennessee Bulldogs? Lost one, two games, one to the Huntsville Rockets, who was on it. Then you beat the Huntsville Rockets, so you should be on it, and then you lost to, I want to say, the Connecticut Panthers or somebody in the national championship game. Look, you may not like what I'm putting out. And that well, the, the feedback I got from it, this this is what cracked me up, Mike. The feedback I got from it was that the people doing these rankings were mad at the Bulldogs. Look, a lot of y'all teams make me mad. A lot of y'all teams annoy me. But I can't say, hey, this team's trash now because they're annoying. I can't say, hey, this person doesn't appreciate what I'm doing. Let me put them 50th. No, if they're a good team, they're going to they're be ranked a good team. And that's really what motivated me to kind of get to doing this. I, I don't know if any of y'all know this. I ran the MSFA rankings and whatever page from last year. Uh, I just tried to get my, my toes wet by doing this. Um, but it's to give at least the most honest view that I can and not wanting anything in return from it. Not expecting anything in return from it. Now, if you can help me out on getting some stats and some performances... I'm all for it, but if if dude from the Red Dragons slides us a $500 check, please do, he's not getting ranked any higher than he already is. That doesn't change the fact that they struggled, that they went down and got smacked by the Bulldogs. It doesn't change that fact. If, if Ricky and, and Scott Wallace put out something against me and, and they didn't want anything to do with the show, I mean, I would respectfully not cover them. But if, if they're the number one team in the country, they're the number one team. I can't take that from them. And just because they didn't want to play somewhere or just because they didn't want to take some trip means you're not going to cover them and give them the respect they deserve. I, I, I'm not for that. And, and I, I don't know. I've, I've heard things from the semi-pro elite page that if you don't agree to some financial agreement, they're not going to cover you. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Which none is, that is 100% biased. Well, well, none, none of yeah. us are getting paid for this. Yeah. You're not getting paid. I'm not getting paid. Mike's not getting paid. We're Actually, we're all in this together with the same goal to either have fun, which I have a blast. We have a lot of fun. And, and then try to develop this into something else. Just like you guys try to get into arena and overseas. I, I'm trying to, you know, go on a little Saturday morning talk show. And I'm trying. I've, I've talked to some people about trying to do an NFL show. My big dream, but I'm not expecting to get rich off this, and you shouldn't be either, and no one should. These national championships, 
Hey, I, I want to have bowl games in Louisville. And, and we can have those bowl games by supporting the show. So share this, share this live feed. Exactly, my businessman over there. And and if you if we had it here, it would come at a cost because for refs, field trophies, uh, I want to do this legitimate. I would want to hire people to run the scoreboard, hire people to run the chains. But at no point am I saying, hey, I need to make a thousand dollars off this weekend. That's that's not my goal. My goal is to have fun. My goal is to, to bring and promote semi-pro. My goal is to have have something legitimate. And I would love to get to the level, I've talked about this before, I'd love to get to the level where people talk about winning the Cross Sports Network National Championship opposed to going to Florida. I'm all for uh, the Fire and the Bulldogs playing right here. I would love to see that game. I'm all for the Spartans and the Storm playing right here. I'm all for it. All right, whatever. If anybody wants in, if anybody's serious about that, hit me up. I would love to talk about maybe getting something after the season's over and really putting some some uh, publication and some promotion behind it. But moving on. Playoff time. Playoffs. We're getting there. Playoffs. Playoffs. We're getting there. Some teams are start. Some leagues are starting. Some leagues are, 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 are a couple weeks away. But it's in the air. It's talk. I put out recently uh, my new predictions, uh, my bracketology, if you will. Got a lot of flack. Some of them said they weren't. This isn't the format. I don't know what format y'all going off. Hey, if we don't know the format, help us out. Well, they, that's the thing. Let us know. They don't really know either. Yes. Because it's not real. For most of them, it hasn't been decided by the commission. Okay. So we'll, hold up. Hold up. So teams are complaining that this is not the format, but yet they do not know the format either. Well, so they, I mean, I'm sure. Oh, oh. I'm sure they have a better understanding of it than I do. I'm sure they have a better pulse than I do. But still. Anyway, so MSFA, that's where we're going to start. That's where we always start, my backyard. Yes, it's probably going to change. It's probably going to the top six with the division winners getting the bye. I get it, but I don't like it. You came in and you said three from this conference and three from this conference. We should keep it that way. If, if you're the fourth team in one conference and you got a better record than two teams in another conference, should have won another game. Should have did better. Look, I, I, and then I saw somebody say, we should put all eight teams in there. Why? So now Spartans and the Canes or the Airborne, these teams, the Titans even, these teams that are fighting for that bye week, now you have to go play the Colts. Now you have to go play the Calvary, the Wolfpack, whoever miss. No. You won your division. Get a bye. And I think it should be the top three from the north and the top three from the south. And you just go to play. And the two winners play in the championship game, which I guess is inevitable. You I don't know. That. Let me jump in on that real, real fast. I personally made a, made a post about, uh, well, like about the them take of just the top six teams. We don't. In the NBA, because the West has been so dominant, we don't take teams from the West and put them over in right. the East. So well, if start if you want to do that next season, that's fine. That's cool. I yeah. like that. But you you can't just say, hey, this Airborne Spartans game, this Airborne Canes game looks like it's going to be boring. I want to spice things up. How can we get Canes Spartans in the championship game? You missed that chance when you yeah. put them in the same conference. Miss that chance on a uh, King game. Absolutely. Hey, I'm mean, not bringing that up. But you had the, if you wanted, if you had a gut feeling that your best chance of an exciting championship game was Canes versus Spartans, well, you should have put them in a separate conference when the division start, when the season started. You can't go doing it now. I, mean, I think it it it, it kind of cheapens the whole experience. But they're not the only one doing it. Everybody's hard on the MSFA. You can't be hard on the MSFA because. They're not the only ones doing it. The GDFL, I don't have any information what's going on. And I'm going to stop, I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit here on the GDFL. Apparently, they made some changes in their bracket. And they moved, not only did they, they didn't really change up the format, but they said, hey, we're going to move this team from one conference to another. Ooh. It would be just like you brought up it, Mike, if the NFL playoffs were starting and I said, I'm going to move the Philadelphia Eagles to the AFC right before the playoffs start. So anybody that was close to making the playoffs, tough luck because I'm moving this team over. I don't know how I feel about this. 
So I reached out, tried to get some answers. I, I didn't get an answer. I, I just got some some cryptic and, and vague explanation of tough decisions. Now I like what the GDFL does. The GDFL is the probably one of the best promoted leagues, if not in the country, on, on this side of the country. They are very but well promoted. Yes. The, the the guy who runs it. I feel like, and, and maybe rightfully so, I feel like he's always prepared for the worst. And maybe when you run a 30-team Super League and everybody's coming at your throat, you got to be trust no one. I get it. But I got no explanation for that. And I just felt like it, it was, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a reason for it. And I'm not sitting here trying to blast anybody, but when we're talking about why this happens or, hey, this can't happen, or you have a team that had a pretty solid season and they're now not making the playoffs, that uh, I would want some answers. And I have, and it's not like I'm just sitting here trying to stir up something. I've had owners reach out to me and try to figure out what's going on. Well, let's reel it back in and jump into the MSFA still here. Let's, okay. Let's, 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 let's finish those steps first. All right, well, we'll get back to the MSFA. Roll back in. What are we going back to the MSFA for? <laughs> Trash. Trash? Okay, carry on. Go ahead. Oh, back where I was at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Huh. Anyway, so I, I, got a, I got a question to the people watching. Apparently, and I've heard this throughout a lot. I hadn't really spoken on it, but I heard it again from another source that's more related to this year. Apparently, the GDFL has a rule, or at least they try to try to bring in some understanding that if you win, you either must, if you win the championship, you either must or are strongly encouraged to return to defend your title. I don't know how I feel about that. I you get return it. to the league? Yes, you must return to the league. You cannot leave. And if you leave, apparently there comes with an asterisk, which makes no sense to me, especially in semi-pro where it's a revolving door of players where I've seen teams that are top-notch lose all their players, and vice versa. Teams that are bottom dwellers will hit the jackpot on a good core of guys. I've seen new teams pop up. Cough, cough, Middle Tennessee Bulldog. Cough up, or start up, and boom, six months later, one of the top teams in the country. And now, if they win, and they decide to do something different next year, maybe they decide to be a, a, a traveling team, and just travel the best teams, play the best teams in the country, that that will somehow be a negative mark against them? I don't think so. You pay your league fees, you pay your league dues, you committed to the league. Uh, these top teams aren't forfeiting any games. I know, I know Ricky and Scott, they both do whatever it takes to make that game happen and put on the best possible show. And if they win the championship, once they hoist that trophy and shake hands, they should be able to do whatever they want. If they want to try to join the NFL, who, who's the stop? So I don't like I said. If you know more on that, let me know. Or if if you don't, what's your thoughts on it? How would you feel if your team, if your league said, if you win, you got to come back? Because it's weird. Because if I lose, I might want to come back and try to get that. So now, if I lose, I can't come back. If I lose. I'm going to want to come back, but if I win, I got to come back. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. If you know something about it, let me know. So, what was you trying to talk about about the MSFA? Oh, I, I, I was just trying to get a bold, a bold, a bold prediction out of you. Buddy. No bold prediction. Bold prediction. The MSFA is like one of those cheesy Hallmark movies. It's fun to watch. One of those little Christmas movies they come out with. Yeah. But it's got the same story. It starts, it ends. Everything else is the same. The characters may change. There's, there's not. I don't foresee a lot of drama in the MSFA. I'm gonna be honest. With you. VCFL playoffs. So, do you have any insights of when the final playoffs, are, like, is say, hey, this is gonna happen? Is there a word of? There is not. There's not a word. That's the thing. It, yeah. it may not be until the last game of the season, which I think we is the second week in August. Which is, which is scary. Which, but, which is crazy. I mean, now in the MSFA, yeah. it's not that big of a deal because it's it's only really affecting one team. 
the, the Cavs, correct? The Cavs, yeah. and, and I believe maybe the Wolfpack or Fury. Mm-hmm. It, it, it kind of affects them. But everybody else, they're, they're just prepared. BCFL, got confirmation, it'll just be a 17 playoff. The West Virginia Fold, the West Virginia Lightning, they're done. Kick them out. So the number one team will get a nice buy, which is looking like it's going to be the Tanks, unless they take a loss any time in the remainder of the season. And then everybody else, two through seven, will play out. And the next round, it'll be just your four. So we, I know we had talked about that. They refuse to travel. Uh, get out of here. So are they for sure giving the one seed a buy, or they have like yes. a, or like a playing one, game? One, one seed is the buy, okay. from my understanding of it, unless they change it. PAFL. From my understanding, tier two, tier three, tier yeah, tier two and tier three are pretty cut and dry. There's enough teams to have your divisions. Tier tier, tier three will have uh, eight teams, two teams from each division, and tier two is, is going to be a bigger playoff, be 16 teams, uh, division winners, and then four wild card games. The one I got the most flack on was PAFL tier one. I have heard nothing substantial. I've just heard a bunch of options. Yeah. So the option I went with was the one that made sense to me. You have two conferences, and due to teams folding, one conference has five player, five teams, one conference has three teams. So instead of having that uh, cluster, you know what? Yeah. I just said, well, I have top eight. So for fun, I did the top eight. Yeah. And everybody got upset. They got, I got upset. And everybody gets upset about everything. If I don't have you winning, yeah, you're upset. <laughs> if I don't, want, if I have you being runner up and losing by one point. And quadruple overtime, you're upset. If I have to lose you in the first round, you're upset. I, I was talking about this. Top five whiniest teams. I got them. And I mean this with fun. I mean this I mean this fun. But the top five teams, never satisfied. Grab, 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 grab. Number five, just going to have to fill out a five. I'm going to give it to her, the Hurricane. Number four. Number, number, number five. You just, you just, I don't know. Number four, Tri-City Outlaws. you gotten better. But you come off a loss, you travel poor, and then you're like, where's my respect? Give it to me. I can't do it. you gotten better, though. Number three, I've actually had to bump number three down because I, I, they, they kind of got boring on me. That's the Clarksville Air Boys. That was so much fun the first half of the season. Yeah, church, Complaining church, church, church. about everything. It made life fun. It made what I do fun. But apparently, y'all stopped it. I don't know. Maybe you gave up on me. Well, I think their their I think their owner kind of reeled them in like a little bit. Like, ah, let them like, be kids. They're yeah, fine. It's fun. Yeah, they're a young not, team. That's why. Yeah. I, I rag on the airborne a lot, but that's what I like about them. They're fun. Yeah. They're they're chirpy. They're wild. They're going to win. They're going to lose. Bring bring them back. Number He's two. Still, still not going to win the championship. They're still not. Surveying Spartans. Okay. I'm supposed to just overlook little shenanigans you got as an organization. And you want me to put you up there with the elite, and you ain't played nobody, hmm. but you be you complain. And the number one team, number one, the number one whiniest number team, one. probably in semi-pro history. And they think I don't like them, and I have nothing against them. Nothing. <laughs> I've never even been to this city. Could care less. I mean, your uniforms look like crap, but who am I to say that? <laughs> That's probably why they think I don't like them. Yeah. Columbus Gladiators. You always want more. I had you at three. You wanted more. Move you to four, you want more. You hey. played the Dukes and barely won. And you couldn't travel to West Virginia and you couldn't travel to the Dukes. And then when, when I said, that's my concern, but we won. We played football one leg at a time. I think they they, had a, they sent their they, they sent their representation to a team and he called in, talk about football's football and one yeah. leg at a time. No. Depth matters in semi-pro more than anything. And you're going to find out this weekend, if you travel light to Marion County, yeah. you're going to have something to complain about. Hey, hey, it's going to be hard to hydrate. hydrate. My favorite thing to talk about in sport, in favorite. semi-pro, with the Columbus Gladiators, you choked. Uh. You were spanking the tanks. It was over. You were proving me wrong. I was about to change the whole website. I was about to change everything I do. And like Bob Knight, it just got choked. That was fun. It's on fun. I like all the teams. I like talking to the uh, uh, the Gladiators players. They're, they're fun to talk to. Hey, but uh, what? Maybe like an honorable mention. How about the Mon Valley? Uh, Mon- Rough Riders. Yeah, they're new. Yeah, they're new. They just had that one guy who came in out of nowhere on a boat, <laughs> talking about some reckless stuff. 
I don't know. I like the Rough Riders. They've just been gone forever. Yeah. Been on like forfeit cent island or something. I don't know. At least they spell it. They're like, new. Like a like a real Rough Rider. <laughs> they crack me up. So that that is one thing I have to say. Their team reminds. Is that did they used to be a flag team? Uh, I, 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 that does not I, sound like I'm a not sure. organization. I don't know, team. man. Actually, it cracks me up. Some of the teams you get out west, and they got like the craziest names. Yeah. <laughs> like. They have, there's somebody out in California. They have like Oregon uniforms, legitimate Oregon Nike uniforms. They had like chrome green mm-hmm. speed flexes, and they were the Kingfish. Their logo was ridiculous looking. It looked like something you'd see at a restaurant. Hey, but Kingfish, that's pretty catchy. That's a stupid name. What they like? Were they the San Francisco Kingfish? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a stupid name. All right, going on to some predictions this season or this week. Got predictions. Some, everybody's going. Everybody's everybody's riled back up. Starting with the MSFA. Tennessee Titans, or Tennessee Titans, <laughs> Tri-State Titans at the Clarksville Airborne. Could be a good one. I like this one. Airborne, we get to see you. You're at your, at your home. All your challenging games have been on the road. You got a chance to show me something. You got a chance to crack that top three. Uh, it's not going to matter as far as your conference goes, but if you want respect, this is the game. Yeah, this nope. is a four. It's a four-three matchup. Per it the, is. Uh, it is. Per the uh, cross rankings. I like the Titans. I like Titans defense. I like the, their ability to make a play. I got the Titans winning twenty to twelve. River City Hurricanes at the Kentucky and the Calvary. I say that playfully. They use the same field. It's like play, the, when the Lakers and Clippers play at the Staples Center. This game got a little bit of skin in. <laughs> I made a bet with one of the Calvary players, Brian Love. Good little receiver, number 88. He says that they're going to put over 100 passing yards on the River City Hurricanes defense. Mm. I say not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. They try to convince me they put up 100 passing yards against the Spartans. I didn't see it. I saw one good pass that was called back. I saw a little slant that got squirrely. And then I saw like a, a good catch going the other way. Everything else, sacks, picks, and with quarterback runs. I don't think you're doing it. They may have got 100 yards if they counted their incompletions as yards and callbacks, right? Fair enough. No, I, I don't I don't think that. Now, obviously, that's what's going to get iffy because it's not going to be on tape. I, I doubt anyone's recording this game. So I'm, I'm relying on both teams, to be honest with me. And it's just a small bet. I mean, if, if I lose, I have to wear his jersey, which I don't know if you want that. It's probably going to be a small. But I will yeah. wear his jersey on next Wednesday's show. And if he loses, I get to hang the jersey up over there. He gets to go on the wall of shame. <laughs> I just don't see it. I don't. I don't see it, man. I, I think. I think the Cavs have gotten much better, especially on that defensive side. That front seven is hungry. They got a good, solid running game. They got athletes out on that field. The Canes, man. Uh, the Cavs. They're they're a young team. They are a young team. You and give them can, next year or the year after that. If that core if they can keep that together, together, absolutely. They oh, get rid of some yeah. of that cancer. Get rid of some of that fighting. Get some of that bickering. Yeah. Get everything taken care of back in the front office. I know there's been some changes. Of, uh, there were some tragedies going on that, that really uh, had, an, had a toll on them, and you can't blame them a bit for that. I'm not saying that had an effect on them on the field, uh, but if, if they can just just keep on going, they got some good things going. Hey, but uh, not this year. Let me jump in real quick. Uh, it it uh, looks like the Airborne, uh, they might be on the road this week, actually. Uh, well, the, the, the thing I had, then I'm they're, not still, sure they're still losing. Game I mean, they're still maybe, but I, was, I, I have a schedule given to me like yeah. three weeks before season started. It's still got the Stallions on it. If you guys could uh, confirm that, uh, definitely comment, you know, comments if, 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 if that is the, the correct answer for us. So, uh, but, that might change picks. But I doubt it. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I got the Titans winning, and if they play at home, they're just going to win. I got the Canes winning twenty to six. I think the Calvary, the Canes have just given up a touchdown. Yeah, one way shape or form. Even dominant wins, they just give up a touchdown somewhere. I don't think it's bored. I don't know what happens. They just give up a touchdown. Um, they'll give up. They'll be twenty six. Moving on to the game, I'll probably be going to, maybe. I don't know. I'll go to one of these two games. The Colts, maybe. At the Kentucky Spartans. This happened week one. Spartans won 60 to nothing. Do the Colts have enough? I've been told they're going with 20. Do they have enough? I see they've been recruiting too. So, If there was that talent to recruit, they would already have it. And uh, isn't the roster locked? 
Well, if you're the rules that most leagues have, if your head count is under a certain okay. number, they will allow you to sign. Okay, makes sense. Uh, it ain't gonna matter. I got Spartans win sixty nothing, and I don't even have this game being finished. I have this game being called? Nah, eight minutes left in the fourth. Sixty to nothing, Spartans. Uh, I would love to talk more about these last two games. Tennessee Rampage at Clarksville Wolfpack. Wolfpack are going to get that Pats forfeit win. Kentucky Stallions at the Tennessee Fury. The Fury will get that forfeit win. We're getting close to the playoffs, guys. And right now, it's still just a three-horse race. Canes, Spartans, maybe the Titans. The Titans, like, don't let them in. Like, they're, if, they're, 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 they're a if the Airborne stays within their conference and so they would only have to play they would only play the winner of the Fury and Wolfpack if they hold that true mm -hmm. I give the Fury or give the Wolfpack a chance uh, I give the Airborne a chance to win because they have, they have an easy cruise to the championship game if it's not like that and they're left fight playing the Canes the Spartans the Titans yeah, they're, they're not made a championship game. so Perfect. Anything going on over there in the MSFA before we bounce on? Yeah, uh, just to confirm, the Airborne is on the road. So it's on LPO. the road. Okay, so then uh, I'm going. I'm going to go 28 twins. So uh, give another touchdown. It is confirmed that the Colts are only coming with 20 players. Uh, it's still going to be 60 to nothing. I, if I hope they make it to half. Now, okay, let, let me. Now I want to make a point, and I want I want the the fans' opinion on this. Fans, the, the viewers, the people watching. So historically. And in football, when you get a big lead, it is frowned upon to continue to pass. When all teams are equal, when it's a college and both sides are yep. full of college athletes, when it's the NFL and there's pros on both sides, and you get a sizable lead, it's expected to just run the dive up the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Don't pass. But that's just kind of yeah. the unspoken rule. Unwritten rules of football. Unwritten rule of football, exactly. I will venture to say... That's not the case in semi-pro. In semi-pro, Spartans versus Colts. If the Colts were, if the, the Spartans were up sixty to nothing going into the fourth quarter, it would actually, in my opinion, I want to know what you all think, would be less demeaning, less disrespectful, less painful if they just threw the ball the entire fourth quarter. And I say that because when the ball's in the air, the quarterback play at this level is questionable. Mm -hmm. The line play at this level is questionable at times. You have an opportunity to stop it. Yeah. When when the Colts, if, when, when any team's down to 12 guys and they're playing a team that's just stacked, yeah. if the Colts were playing the Bulldogs, the Colts would stand a better chance if the Bulldogs passed every down. Yeah. Because it's less physical, less physical activity until the ball's caught. You have a chance of a bad pass. You have a chance of a, an interception, and then you get in, you know uh, the the ball in a, in a good way to try to make a pick six. Yeah. What, in my opinion, would be dis more disrespectful? You're beating a team seventy to nothing in the fourth quarter, and you stick your big bruising back in there, and he's just pounding it. And now guys are getting hurt trying to make these tackles. Yeah. That's actually more likely. When I went and watched the Red Dragons in the West Virginia Smash play. When they were passing the ball, it took them like five times to score because you had some incomplete passes, you had some uh, diving passes, guys fell. But when they ran the ball in the fourth quarter, touchdown. Yeah. Because it's so much more physical and the playing field isn't even. And usually they have a running clock at that <laughs> so point. So I would actually, so. yes. So, so when incomplete pass, everybody's kind of walking yeah. back to the ball. Mm -hmm. I would actually say, and, and, and let, me, let me just say this, if the Colts and the Bulldogs play, it would be over by the first play. I could see. Here's how it would go. <coughs> the Colts would kick the ball deep. Baby Smith would get it. It wouldn't go deep. It'd go about the 30. Bold 40. predictions. Bold, bold predictions. It's a game's never going to happen. Baby Smith would take it back for a touchdown, and then the Bulldogs would hit about eight Colt players, and then they would be out, and the game would be over right there. Six nothing. But I'm going to venture and say that if you had two games going, if the Colts played the Bulldogs, you could not get more further in talent. If the Bulldogs threw the ball every down, the game would be less ugly than if the Bulldogs ran it every down. Because when you're running it, those big linemen are coming to hurt you. Yeah. Those receivers are looking to knock your helmet off. 
those running backs are not easy to tackle. At least if they're throwing the ball, you get a bad pass, yep. you get a, an over, you, you know, you get a chance. And if you do get beat, it's no physical. If yep. There's no physical contact. The guy's already ran past you. You get embarrassed by a running back, you might hurt a couple guys. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just hurt saying, I, it's going to be embarrassing either way. I just think in semi-pro, when there's two teams and the talent disparity is huge, it's actually less disrespectful to throw the ball in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Because you at least give the other team a chance. And also, if you go run the ball ever down, and there's only 11 over there, and their hands are on their knees, it's over. <laughs> you want to, that's how people get hurt. Well, and like also, a lot of tiebreakers, you know, you do head-to-head and then defensive point, point, points allowed. Usually, usually that third tiebreaker is the amount of points you like you score. Well, I think so, most semi-pro leagues stay away from that because okay. if you don't have the Spartans trying to win a tiebreaker against the the Titans yeah. by putting up a hundred, even though I like to say it, yeah. you're listening, Spartans. Can we get a hundred against the Colts? Hey, they're, they're actually calling it. Like I've, I've seen a couple hundreds up, like, up, hey, up here. Look, if I can't see a beautiful game. If I can't see whatever Canton Pitbulls and the Mary County Crusaders was, or if I can't see what I hope Canes and Spartans will be, don't give me a twenty to nothing halftime lead Boy. and then you go on to win twenty six to twelve. No. I want fifty at half and I want a hundred at the end of the game. Make that hundred and two. That's how we talk about things right here. <laughs> Anything else on the MSFA before we go to the big blue collar? Right? Well, um I-, I didn't see something a little earlier here. Um what do you think about a possible merger with the BCFL and, and, and MSFA? And you know, uh, since teams keep folding. If there's a merger, I say no, because what needs to happen is whatever's running the MSFA, mm-hmm. this mysterious figure behind the shadows. I believe it's Courtney Johns. I think I've that's been told it's not. Oh, it's not. They need to step up and be more vocal. Yeah. But Just if if yourself. you're going to absorb into the BCFL and slash or flash or whatever his name is mm-hmm. is going to run it. I can get behind that. Yeah, that'd be good. I think you need... I don't know if the Tennessee teams would, would hop on board because you are getting a little out of their area. But I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I mean... I'd be yeah. all for the MCFA. Yeah, I'm just looking for a league, you know, for solid yeah. hey. solid 12 teams. You know, that'd be... That'd be hey. Absolutely, absolutely. Moving on to BCFL. Cincinnati Dukes taking on the West Virginia Lightning. They have folded. Dukes don't get that win. I heard the Dukes were supposed to play this week, or maybe there was some rumors. Are the Dukes playing this week? I, I thought they I wanted to play the Comets, but I don't think that's happened. Westport now tanks at the Louisville Piranhas. They get that win by forfeit. Oh, it's but gonna be, it's going to be a close one. It will. It'll be like 2 nothing. <laughs> but let me talk about the tanks. They got a fun game versus the PAFL West Virginia Storm. So now. I get to calibrate. I get to evaluate and see what's going on. I get to see, because the Storm, I feel like I've played maybe two games. they got a bunch of wins, but I feel like they've only played two games. I hear good things about them. Check out the roster. They look like they'll be adding some key pieces. I know a little bit about the Tanks. I got to see the Tanks play. They, they, they played the Crusaders. They got a win. Questionable. It's close. 7-6. What the ref's doing. I don't know. This gets to tell me what the West Virginia Storm are doing. West Virginia Storm, take on the tanks. It's going to be a good one. Man, I don't know what I'm going to put that score as. I got the tanks winning 24-20. And I think it's at West Virginia. Is that West Virginia? I think so. But I like the tanks. They travel well. They travel well. Probably still got some questions about the storm. Let's see. I got, like I said, tank twenty four twenty. Definitely a really good measuring stick for both teams. Um, it is confirmed that the Dukes are playing the War Eagles in Columbus. Oh, okay. I did not so. have that. We'll get. Let me get. Let me circle back to that because I feel like we got some good ones. Um, Tri State Saints at the Cincinnati Gators. That's still a league game. Sorry, Saints. Y'all been trying to talk. You've been trying to kick the Colts down the road. You've been trying to separate yourself from the trash to the least trash. Y'all still in the same bag. Buy one, get one free. I I've think, seen uh, a couple people call the, the, the Saints You can call it all you want. I can call uh, this shirt green. It's definitely black. Definitely black. I can say this is red. Certainly blue. I got the Gators 36-8. to 
I haven't heard much from the Gators. Gators got a big win already in the season against the Saints. They get another one here. Have they won since then? Besides the forfeit games? Uh, I think it was just forfeit. I think yeah. they lost to the Dukes. They've lost to the Comets. They lost. Yeah, it's well, more of an opportunity to get it here. Yeah. Because if you lose it, and depending on how you lose it, you might be looking at that seventh seed that might have you in Marion County opposed to being the sixth seed playing the Duke. Because the way it's looking, the Dukes have won that division. Yeah. And even though I think the Comets are the better team, the Dukes have won that division. The Dukes are probably sitting at that three seed. Mm -hmm. You much rather want that sixth seed than that seventh seed. Yeah. Cincinnati, if you want. But hey, Saints, you want to make a little noise, you want to make something happen, you got to win it. But you got to get the first real win on the field this week, guys. It ain't happening. I can't even lie to him. <laughs> King Comets at the Kentucky Colonels. Comets going to win a forfeit. Man, this gets it. These two leagues really bum me out when I get to this point. Because I, I, I yeah. see these exciting matchups and then I see. But I'm glad. I'm glad the BCFL, unlike the MSFA teams, and I'm looking at you, Spartans, you have the 28, and because you don't want to travel to Indianapolis, you play the, the Saints? But yet you told Billy Cole that his team wasn't worth playing? That's like saying, I'm too good to eat at McDonald's, but here, let me eat this bologna sandwich. Yeah. Get out of here. And I, I know I'm, I'm speaking for Al Raz. I don't know that didn't come from the ownership of the Spartans. <laughs> but come on, he represents your team. He's the, he's the mouthiest one we got. He's the voice of the franchise. He's the voice of the franchise. Probably not the, definitely not the face of the franchise. <laughs> the voice. But he's the voice of the franchise. <laughs> so, but I, I want to get back. The BCFL, this is fun. I did, I, I'd, I'd heard rumors of the Dukes versus the War Eagles. They actually put a score here on that. But I put an asterisk next to it because I thought they were kind of backing out of it. So now you got Dukes versus War Eagles. You got Tanks versus Storm. You got Comets versus Butler County Broncos. That's going to be a good game. That's going to be a good one. That's going to tell me where both those teams are. I, I really like that matchup. I really like that matchup. So, we're going to, like I said, I said the Tanks are going to win 24-20 to 20 over the Storm. That War Eagles Dukes. I've been on the War Eagles bandwagon probably longer than I should. But they haven't done anything to let me down, really. I got them winning here 30-14. to 14. I, 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 The Dukes have been playing better. They've been putting up more points here of late, and I just can't get on that bandwagon yet. Comets, Broncos. This is a good one. It's a great one. Comets lost a close one to the Chiefs in preseason. Broncos have lost two to the Chiefs in regular season. The Comets lost some players, but I heard some's back. I've heard some of them start to jail. Where's it at? Is it at Butler County? They're close. I don't even think it matters. They're like 45 minutes away. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I, man, I love Butler County's uniforms. That all blue and chrome? Man. And that portion of Sally? Comets winning 28-24. I don't know. Butler. The score is going to be 28-24. I don't know who's going to win. Comets. Maybe Butler County by the end of the show. Yeah. Well, um, what do you got for I really feel like it's whoever is, is the home team, to be honest with you. Ah, this is yeah. Okay. yeah, so. Um, just to... Uh, Water's been approved. Just to roll back to the MSFA a little bit. Um, can't get rid of It is confirmed that Courtney John, Courtney Johns is the MSA president, and Steve Coleman is the league commissioner. I like Steve. He, he's, so. he runs the revs. He's, he's a great guy. I just... Does he have time to dedicate this? I mean, I've heard this man that's revved NFL game. Yeah. He's got a lot on his plate. So... I mean, it, but it's I just not feel like some of the decisions that have been made in the MSFA uh, have been very shaky and questionable. So, and it's uh, confirmed that the uh, game is in Cincy with the Comets and uh, Butler County. So, All right. Comets 28-24. Got to stick to it. Be a man of my word. All right. Anything on the BCFL before we get going? Uh, I'm really not seeing a lot of a lot of talking on the, no. the BCFL. We'll so. circle back around to it. GDFL playoffs are here. Playoffs. All those other teams that folded. The Generals and all the Pythons. They didn't fold. But they don't matter anymore. We're up to the big boys. First round. Buffalo Spartans at Lexington Red Dragons. Red Dragons, man, you let me down. Man, you broke my heart. I talked, I gassed y'all up. The quarterback, EKU, best quarterback I'd seen. 
That kicker from Kentucky. Man, he could kick. That line. Boy, when I seen that line in person, that looked like Jonathan Ogden out there. The team I saw against the Bulldogs looked like the Little Red, the little red Dragons. From the film, I see. They should have actually played the Little Dogs. Yeah. That little that team Ricky run. Yeah. They should have played the Little Dogs. It would probably been closer. I mean, just the and the game wasn't even over. Yeah. That could have been a 60 piece. Oh. Like, it was called in the fourth quarter, eight minutes left. Yeah, like 10 minutes I, left. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was 13, but. but. Man, Dragons, you let me down. Then the owners hurting people's feelings or getting man, something happening. I don't know. I like Ricky. He's cool. Yeah. But apparently he, he ruffled some feathers. I still think they're one of the top teams in Kentucky. If at full health. Not Ricky, you mean Ryan. Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Ryan. Sorry. Ricky is the owner of the Ricky's, I thought he both were yeah. Ryan. Uh, I got the Buffalo. I got the Dragons beating the Spartans 24-6. to six. Buffalo Spartans. Before you write anything, I'm talking about the Kentucky Spartans. Huntsville Rockets taking on the Georgia Crush. This is a thing that entertains me and kind of makes me a little sad about the GDFL. But I like it. But I'm sad. That makes sense. I love it. Uh, the Rockets, one of the best teams in the country. The best. Not the country. Uh, the best. One of the best teams in the country. <laughs> Lost one game in overtime to another one of the best teams in the country. You know what you get for that? You get a wild card where you have to play another close game, and if you win that, ding, 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 behind door number two, a 12-hour drive to Erie, Pennsylvania to play the Express. Ah, enjoy that. Rockets crush. They played earlier in the season. I think the Rockets won 10-7. Yeah, I heard it was at Huntsville... Well, I heard it was at Georgia without the Huntsville Rockets quarterback, or without one of the team's quarterback. I don't remember which one. Yeah, I can't remember either. I got the Rockets winning 14 10. I think it's going to be another great one. Setting up some good games next week. Oh, great game next week. Setting up the, the Rockets, if they win this, would have to go to Erie. That's 12 hours. I heard they can travel well. But now the thing about Erie is. You get the home field advantage, and it's truly a home field advantage with a 12-hour distance. Yeah. But you ain't played nobody, Erie. You ain't played nobody. You've beaten teams 48 nothing. They may, I don't think they've given up 20 points all year, but they ain't played nobody. No. And then who, do, who in this, I think, uh, I think the Bulldogs would get the Red Dragons again. 60 to nothing this time. We'll talk about that next week. This next week, we're going to have a lot of good games. With the dog. Moving on the other side of the bracket. The team that is just new to this conference, East Alabama Predators, taking on the Alabama Sabres. Now, they both share the same state. I don't know how far they are from each other. I got the Alabama Sabres winning 28-14. Shout out to the Sabres. They got their owner or whoever runs their page. He always keeps me informed. He gives me all the stats. That, that, um, that helps us tremendously. It That's looks good. like the Sabres have a solid passing game as well. Um, so I got to win 28-14. And then, the Oklahoma Thunder at the Tri-City Outlaws. The Thunder is like, I, I say this every week, they're like RCA. Yeah. They're, they're like Saturn cars. They, they have, a, or Oldsmobile, they have a solid history. Mm -hmm. uh, something tells me I'm safe with always betting on them, but every time I bet on them in a big time, but it's only been against the Oklahoma Outlaws, they lose. Tri City Outlaws. You struggle to travel. You traveled one time and you put you traveled to Lexington and you put wide receivers and running backs on the line. But you only lost by twenty. You got a pretty good defense. Yeah. So the Outlaws are the home team though. The Thunder I hear have spent quite a bit of time on the road this season. Heard they only played like two or three home games. I think that does them well. Thunder win twenty eight to twenty. And where exactly is the uh, the uh, outlaws? From? I want to say Clarksville, Indiana. Clarksville, Tennessee. Clarksville, Tennessee. Could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Sorry. So but we're I probably looking at like an eight hour drive, aren't they? What? Clarksville is just like outside of Nashville. But from Oklahoma to oh yeah, Nashville. Right. Yeah. Right. My bad. Well, I mean, if the like if they do travel up, this will prove it. I mean, yeah. So. We'll see. 
anything on the GDFL? Did we get anything about what was our thoughts on the, the league championship rule, or was that kind of just get rolled out? A lot of if you're not in the GDFL, a lot of teams tend to not care about the GDFL. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, there's all right. The chat's kind of calm, like, calm down a little bit, so not a lot. Right, really. but because we're getting to the time of the, I, I'll tell you why I think a lot of this chatter has simmered. We're getting to the point of the season where the has and the has not have been separated. Yeah. You know, beginning of the season, if you're the Tri-State Titans, you're thumping your chest saying, I'm going to win a ring. Well, win a game first. You ain't got a leg to stand on now. Right. All right. Tier 1, P-A-F-L. Cincinnati Chiefs at the Columbus Fire. Great game. I, I, I like that matchup. Best team in Tier 2 probably versus the undoubtedly best team in Tier 1. Yep. So I saw something. I woke up, I think it was this morning. It's probably a joke. But the, I think the Chiefs quarterback had said that he kept getting called all throughout the night of fire alarms. That's awesome. <laughs> if he said he's going to retire off that, he's got to be kidding, right? Because that's just trash talk. If that's how yeah. you get one of the Chiefs' best players to not play, how come everyone's not doing I'm going to start knocking on his door. <laughs> you know, if I play any much, yeah. just just call every day. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's something you hear hey, about the NFL. Hey, put the phone on vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. Shut it off. Yeah, yeah. shut it off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I, he's probably joking, but I don't know. It, it was interesting. So, I think this is going to. So, so people were calling his head, like his phone, saying fire, fire, fire. That type no, of no, I think it was actual fire alarm. Oh. Like some siren going on. <laughs> I don't know. That's, you ain't know, if you ain't know anything on it, let us know. That's funny. I think it's going to be a good game. I'm assuming the quarterback plays. But I think the fire are just overall too good. 36-28 fire. Yeah, the fire, just, the fire just a solid team. I don't They're know. Solid. I don't know if the game's going to be that close. I think that just looks. Yeah. Detroit Seminoles at Indianapolis Tornadoes. Knows are going to get that win uh, because the Tornadoes have folded. Detroit, are you going to play anybody? Are you going to take an opportunity to reach out? You played the uh, the fire. I think you played them in preseason. You played them in the regular season. I, mean, I want to see you reach out. I want to see you play somebody else. Go to the GDFL. Play the Detroit Ravens. Have they played yet? Last I heard, the Ravens were a really good team. I don't, know. I don't cover them. Somebody else let me know. Iron City Legends at Pittsburgh Rangers. I heard the Rangers folded. Yeah, I believe we heard that last week. Or, uh, or not heard. last week, yeah, the, the, but the last show. Ago, yeah. I think they folded. They're going to lose even if they hadn't folded, but I don't yeah. have a score for them. Highland Park Polar Bear at Southern Michigan Timberwolves. I would have to put one of the more disappointing teams in Tier 1 is the SMT. Yeah. Southern Michigan Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. They, they, won, so they, they won the MLFA a couple years ago. They were a solid team. Just don't seem to have it. They, now, I, look, they they've lost to some solid teams in tier one. Yeah. They lost to the Hurricanes in tier two. Highland Park seems to play these teams good. SMT fourteen, Highland Park Polar Bears twelve. Maybe this is what the Timberwolves need to get that momentum going into the playoffs, since the playoffs are so close and they've had such a rough schedule. Maybe they just need that one solid win, you know, kind of get the motor going again, you know, just dig down and. You know, maybe they'll make a run. But Cleveland Patriots at Ohio Raiders. Ohio Raiders, they come off a loss against WPA, but they, they seem to be overall a better team. Mm -hmm. The Patriots, they don't have a win yet. They're, they're quote-unquote rebuilding. Raiders win 38 to nothing. I have nothing to offer on that. Let me uh, let me break in on that. Rebuilding and semi-pro, don't you do that every year, though? Like, let's be honest. Hey, hey that's right. a third term. Yeah. But B, I mean... I can't. I don't want to dog. I don't want to refer to every other team just to what what local teams do. Yeah. Some teams might have twenty to thirty guys in for the long haul, You're right. no matter what. You're right. And these, they might have fifteen dedicated guys. They're just trying to find those other fifteen yeah. to make that thirty. And once they do, they might be off and rolling. That I, I see your point there. So that's a good point. Big game, tier two and versus tier one. WPA Wildcats at the Strabane Spartans. Put the Spartans on my wine list. This is how you prove something to me. You say, oh, I don't care what you think, but yet you spend an hour a day caring about what I think. This is how you, this is how you change that. WPA seems to be clicking. They had that rough loss. They seem to turn it around. 
they, they had a, a close win over the Raiders, and they turned around and they said, no, we're going to beat you big time this time. Trebane, he had an iffy first start. He had a first game of the season. He took a forfeit because of weather. Don't know what that means. Refs got caught in a storm somewhere. Don't care. He took a loss. You haven't played anybody. Well, this is your opportunity. This is what I said. Make something happen. You're yeah. going to earn my respect a little bit this week. This is the number three most talk, uh, trash talking team. Oh, this is number two trash talking team. team. So, hey, prove us a point here. Back they're going back. to. They're going to prove me something, but they're going to lose. I got the Cats 28, got the Spartan 26. It'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. This will go a long way of how I perceive you. This won't be enough. NEO Predators at the Cleveland Rams. Both solid teams. There's just, I think there's a, there's a talent gap. I think the Predators got a lot of playmakers. Last time I checked, the Rams struggled a little bit with the Nightmare. I got the Predators winning 26, Rams 18. Lorain County Nightmare at the Summit County Storm. Both teams have struggled in games that I didn't think they would. I had a lot of I had a, I had a lot of interest and, and hope in the Nightmare coming into the season. You, you let me down overall. The Storm, you, you were popping. You were moving. And then you lost one to the Tri-County Crusaders. Don't know what happened. But I got the Storm winning 20-14. Just forgot something. I gotta go back. All this talk, beep, I put it off. Beep, back beep, it up. Beep. Back it up. Disappointed. Nobody brought it out. Columbus Gladiators at the Marion County Crusaders. Good game. Good game. Columbus. You say, oh, we're the best team. We only lost one game. Mm -hmm. Marion County, you lost one game. Not even close. I got uh, the Crusaders 38-14. Yeah, because they're, they're traveling too many. Close. Maybe you prove me wrong, but until yeah. then, we never know. This uh, goes back to them traveling light. Yeah, traveling light. You know, hey, you, you did you, you traveled light and you held on to a win against the Dukes. You traveled light and you embarrassed the Lightning. Congratulations. You're going to travel light to the Crusaders, and you're going to get that. And it's supposed to be 100 plus degrees, at least here in Louisville. And these guys will be 98. Yeah, they got seven. those heavy old practice yeah. jerseys. Tier two. Anything on tier one before we move on? Uh, nothing. Nothing too much. Uh, right. uh the, we're just talking about the GDFL still a little bit, but okay. Yeah. Moving on. Tier two. Pittsburgh Saints get a forfeit win. Now we have a good one. Wait, wait, wait. No, we don't. Never mind. We have an Ohio Valley Saints at the Southern Ohio Blaze. I think the Blaze are considerably better than that team. Uh, they got the Blaze winning 30 to 6 over the Saints. War Eagles get that win. And I, like I said earlier, they're going to get a win against the Dukes. Cincinnati Chiefs over the Fire, 36 to 28. The Legends still get that forfeit win. Canton Pips, any old Silverbacks at the Canton Pit Bulls. This will be a good game. I, I like this matchup. We talk a lot about the Silverbacks. Did they, we had high hopes from them coming in. Mm -hmm. They let us down. They're coming back. Hand's been pretty steady. He lost a, a good game against the Crusaders. I'm not going to hold that against you here. Pit Bulls win 32-14. I don't think can can be stopped this year, too. Now, did the Lima Steam fold? I let them play in the, Bu the Butler County Broncos, which I like what I'm getting much better with the yeah. comments. But, hey, anyway, I don't know. Find out something about that. Somebody said this one was the Tier 2 game of the week, and I don't know how. Dayton Hornets versus the Ohio Crush. Hmm. Maybe if you're a Dayton Hornets fan, this is obviously the game of the week. Yeah. Dayton Hornets going to win 56 to nothing. Yeah. It is confirmed that steam is done. So. Steam are done. Get them out of here. Ohio Rage at Marion Titans. Man, that's some bad teams. That's bad team. Yeah. That game. I would like. To, I want to make a list. Hey, fan interaction. Things you would rather do than watch Rage versus Titans. What is the worst thing that you would rather do than watch Rage versus the Titans? Um, I'd, 
I'd rather go to the dentist. Yeah. Hey. Probably, uh, probably need it. You know, you go, go a nice little checkup, get your life together, move up. You know, hey. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. Right, what would there. you rather do than go to the rage at the Titans? Uh, I'd rather watch golf on a Sunday afternoon. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a little golf on a Sunday afternoon, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. I would rather watch paint dry. Hey, if you time lapse watching paint dry, no, it's, it's uh, a beautiful thing. Right? Old fashioned. I throw it on the wall and just sit back and chill with the cold. <laughs> Rage 14, Titan 6. I don't think it'll be that high. It's, it's going to be 2 to 0. But nah, got it. Yeah. Michigan Hurricanes <laughs> get the forfeit win. Lima Warriors at the Tri County Crusaders. Warriors coming on strong. Got a little tough schedule down there in the tier three. Mm -hmm. Looking impressive, playing hot, playing good. Don't care what anyone says. They're one of the hottest teams in tier three. Hey, let me uh, jump back into uh, what 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 we would what we would rather do here. Lucius is saying he would rather watch the Colts and Saints play. Hey, I would like to see that game. To be honest with you, the Northern Kentucky Colts versus Tri State Saints. No. Okay, so let's let's give a little background on that. There were te players from the Northern Kentucky Colts that started the Saints, so right. they got some bad. Some I've bad seen blood. the Saints so, play in person once. I don't want to do it again. Well, I'm not saying like I think it would be a good match. The, the Saints, and we talked about it in like our first show. The Saints annoyed me because they were making mediocre plays against mediocre players, and then coming over on the sideline, acting like they just. Caught the uh, Dallas Clark catch. Yeah. Hang on top of that. I just I think, would be, I think it'd be a good game. What what else would I rather do? What would I rather do than watch the Colts versus the Saints? Oh. Well, first off, the Colts uniforms would probably make me have to oh. wear some kind of like I'd, have to, I'd probably have to have some kind of eye surgery afterwards. Yeah. Because that that red and that blue contrasting. I would probably need LASIK. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. I could just go ahead and get LASIK surgery. Um, I would probably rather pick off all my leg hairs with a tweezer. I mean, just, I would rather, I, I don't know. I would rather I watch. I would rather mow grass at 100 degrees. I would rather <laughs> watch the WNBA. Um, I would rather watch the WNBA than watch. Any of these four teams play each other. Hey, women are just as good as men in basketball. We're not getting on that discussion. <laughs> Next week. All right. What was it? Lima Warriors at the at the Tri-County Tri Crusaders. Lima Warriors going 44-6. Not even going to be close. MB Rough Riders at the Westmoreland Wolves. Let's talk about this a little bit. The West Rough Riders, you say, hey, we deserve to be ranked higher than six. Why? Who y'all beat? You played one good team, and you, you lost to the Sabres. You haven't played anybody since. If I'm not mistaken, they actually get to play the Strabane Spartans coming up. Good for you guys. Bad yeah. for the Spartans. I wasn't, I wasn't for that. But this that would be an opportunity for you to make some climb. And you get that win, you will then indeed make that climb. But you won't. But right now, you're trying to tell me you're the hot... Somebody, one of their owners, he literally said, we may not be the best team, but we're the best team. Let me put that second team in capital letters. What? Maybe what? he means they may, they may not have the best talent, but they have the best gelling of a team. And, and how do you compare that? On know. the field, you, didn't, you yeah. didn't beat the Sabres. No. So, your gelling wasn't good enough then. Look, you have an opportunity. I like the Rough Riders. They're creative. They're a nice little organization. They seem to be like a young and just upcoming. Yeah. But what? Get out of here. The hottest team in Tier 3 when you got the Blaze and the Warriors just running through everybody like, I don't know what. No, get out of here. Westmoreland Wolves, though. What's going on with them? I heard they were going to fold yeah. because they lost their quarterback slash offensive coordinator, mm -hmm. which I got to think about that. I get the quarterback loss, but unless he died, can he still be the offensive coordinator? I, I, I like know. even yeah. injured, couldn't he still stay on the sideline? You would think so, but maybe he doesn't want to waste his Saturday afternoon since he's out, out there on the field. He played for the Wolves. Yeah. Uh, 
if that's still the case, Rough Riders 24, Wolf 6. This is starting to move in the right direction. On to Tier 3. Went through most of them already with everything else. I uh, got a couple here. <clears throat> River City Buccaneers at Port Mouth Stealth. Next team to fold. Stealth, next team to fold. Collins here. Buccaneers win 26-6. Pity Storm taking on the Mon Valley Sabres. The Sabres... I'm starting to, they're starting to come a little clearer. Yeah. I still think they're a good team as far as Tier 3 goes. Mm -hmm. I still think they're going to make it to the Tier 3 championship just based on how easy that side of the bracket is. But, and they're going to win this game. But I, I don't think they're the tops in the league. I, I've got them below the Warriors, Storm, and Blaze. But they're going to get this win. They're going to win 14 to 8. That concludes. All the games that we got coming up this weekend, man, I, I'm excited to be back. Yeah, I'm excited to get to this point. I'm excited for the playoff push. The playoffs are bittersweet, though. Yeah. The games are better, mm -hmm. but there's less of them. Yeah. And as we get on closer, like, there's going to come a time when we do a show when there's going to be like four games, and it's going to be bum. It's going to bum me out. Yeah. But it's going to be but good, good, good games. Good games. Still, just because I love doing it, this week's. Championship preview, MSFA, Canes, Spartans, Evansville. Be a good game. BCFL Championship, Tanks, Crusaders, wherever it's at. Uh, some people say it's West Portsmouth. Some people say it's... They, they say that it bounces back between divisions. They have three divisions. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, how are you going to yeah. do that? Anyway, wherever that's the game, that game is going to be good. Tanks, Crusaders will be that BCFL matchup. GDFL, like see that game still well. going. Oklahoma Thunder, Middle Tennessee Bulldogs. Maybe because of a yeah. part of me that wants to see that little uh, little Thunder Storm rematch. Mm -hmm. I know you're off the storm, but y'all yeah, remember. Uh, tier 1 championship game. Getting closer to a Wildcats fire game. I think that would be great. Yeah, that would be a really good game. I'm excited. Yeah. I want that. Like, I want that. Make it happen. Like the, like the Cats are starting to hit their stride yep. right, right at the right moment. Tier 2. I still say can pit bull chiefs. Yeah. In tier three, still got to go blaze over the uh, the uh, sabers. Let's uh, roll back to tier two real quick. Bounce um, back. The Butler County they are starting to come on strong too. So uh, just well, just just depending so on just how lost. they play out. They just lost eight to nothing to the Hornets, which isn't bad, I guess. Yeah, if you're going to take a loss, I just think there's still too much. And when you're losing, like yeah. when I did in the bracket. And, and I, I can't guarantee that that's how it's going to pan out. Mm -hmm. One corner of that bracket was a doozy. Yeah. You had the Canes. You had the Broncos. You had the Chiefs. You had the War Eagles. Yeah, I mean, just like the Hornets. I would really like, I would really like to see how the playoff bracket is going to break down. Well, I would imagine. And, and that one seemed to, I seem to not get much flack on that one. Right. I imagine it's your four division winners yeah. will be seeds one through four. And then your four wild cards will be five through eight. Yeah. And it's pretty cut dry. There's not been enough folks. There's enough teams in that. I think they're down to 19. Yeah. There's enough teams that you can still have a solid 16 squad. So Billy Cole is asking if uh, if his team wins, is the Blaze still your front runner in the uh, the tier three? Uh, it depends on how they win. Because they're, they're still the home team, right? I think are, if they win by three or four, and I feel like there's some flukiness, I still think the Blaze are going to have the upper hand. But if they can come out and they can show me something, I might consider a little, little, little jumperuski there. Yeah, I mean, if they beat the tanks, if they beat the tanks, yeah, uh, I mean, which I mean, it's tanks are the number one team like, in the CFL. It, it's it's hard. This is going to sound weird, and I know I'm going to have to answer it to it at one point in time. The thing that I put in, now this is whatever you think about my rankings, or you can take for whatever, if you think they're worth something, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. There's no risk when I see a game. So, for example, West Virginia, the Storm play the tanks. If the Storm blow out the tanks, it could help them in the league perception. Yeah. But I'm not going to hold the tanks against them. No. Because yeah. that just means to me 
as long as they're in two separate leagues, the tanks are still safe in the BCFL. I still have them going to the championship game and losing to the Crusaders. Yeah. That's not changing. No, no, that's not but the problem. upside. So I say that, I'm really trying. And I, I'm trying to get like a committee. I'm trying to be the legit to do some kind of bowl games. Guys, it won't hurt you to play these tough games. But it can help you. Yeah, it would definitely improve your stock in right. my eyes. Right, because if the Storm go out here and win by 20, any conceivable ranking I have is going to improve that. Oh, yeah, 100%. If the Storm go out here and lose by 20, I still have them the number two team in Tier 3. So, I'm all for playing a better schedule. Playing yeah. tough. Don't yeah. just sit back and chill on the spot. Now, I know you get into that who should travel, who should do this. Mm -hmm. I, I can't speak on that, but... I mean, yeah, yes, Billy, if, if you win good, if, if it looks like a good win, it could certainly help you against your calls against the Blaze. Now, it, uh, now if, if you win by six and the Blaze even beat their little opponent by 70, still got to go with the Blaze. But Blaze struggle, Storm win. I don't think it's going to matter. It's still Blaze and change again. Yeah, just because they're on that side. Now, if, if I sit here the whole time and I say don't change it up, if they was going to change it up, change up tier three. Yeah. I would love to see a Storm Blade Championship game. What's going on in the chat? Uh, I saw somebody, let's say, let me, let me just pull back up here real fast. Uh, da, 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 da. And you guys really blow up the comments. We really appreciate that. Um, a Bobby Joe Miller says that we call the War Eagles winning 30, 30 to 14. If they oh. lose... Oh, what? What? What did you say? It says uh, you have the War Eagles winning 30 yeah. 44, 44, 14 here. If if they lose, does does that mean that the War Eagles are are, are overrated or or are the Dukes just that good? It can. I feel like it can be both. I feel like the War Eagles could be a little overrated. The Dukes. The Dukes are not overrated. The they Dukes, are a the Dukes, happy team. They're, they're the Dukes happy. are what they are. Yeah. The Dukes the Dukes are like the McRib. Yep. The Dukes are like McDonald's food. And I, and, and you can tell I like food. The Dukes are, are McDonald's. You know what they are. Now, sometimes you may go to McDonald's and have a better experience. Mm -hmm. Like today I had the, the, the quarter, the double quarter, the whatever, the quarter oh, pounder. It, it was really good today. I love it. I may go tomorrow, and it may be a little blood, yeah. but I'm not going to be upset because I know what I'm getting. Just like the yeah. fries. You pull up the McDonald's, you get the fries, you might get a nice, hot, fresh batch that is amazing. And you're like, wow, wow this is great. And you might also get some, and you're like, eh, eh, a little soggy like normal. That's what the Dukes are. The Dukes are run of the mill for them. Mm -hmm. So if they win, I'll be like, hey, the Dukes had a good game. Now, I might look at the War Eagles and say, uh, I probably went out on a limb putting you in my top 25. On here, yeah. Hey, the Dukes have a good defense. Just. Wait, what? Um, they're, they're, they're talking about the. Look, you're actually talking about the Rage. I'm done with the Rage. Boring. Yeah. And the, 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 the best thing I liked about the Rage was they had the Red Hawk. And they changed him to some face. Anything else going on over there? Yeah, there's just, it's all War Eagle talk. So, shout out to all the War Eagle players, hey. fans, owners in the chat. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, yes. Feel free to share it. You know, we have we have, so we have 26 viewers still. If, if uh, everybody shares this one time, it will definitely help. One time for the one time. So. so, this is kind of a little thing that um, Cross Sports Network and RTF is, is kind of working on in the future. You know, we're just trying to, we do this for fun. But we are trying to find a niche with this. Uh, we're going to start, we start doing a, a Kentucky show, a UK. I'm, I'm a big Kentucky fan. If you're a Kentucky fan, check it out. We'll start uploading it every Thursday morning at 9. We're, we're going to start doing like a, a couple times a week at an NFL, or a, just a pro sports debate show with a couple of guys. Uh, one guy, I think, writes for the Associated Press. Yep. Uh, another guy, he, he has his own YouTube channel. He's out of Texas. Um, the, the reason I'm saying this is, is I want to know what my next chapter should be. Because Semi Pro um, is coming to an end. Semi Pro is yeah. coming to an end. You guys are very engaged, and I really like that. I would, like to, I would like to do a show where y'all called in and we talk pro sports. 
you know, talk about what you think of LeBron, the NFL, all this. But I just want some advice on, because be honest, it's going to be tough to to cover some of the winter leagues, because most of those are in California mm -hmm. and Florida, and I just don't have the resources, or I don't I don't have the connections. We don't to, have the out, out, outreach yet, but we are looking for those yeah. outreaches. So if you know but anybody, I, I really like leagues, co I really like covering the teams that I cover, and and you know, it's it's just. Semi-pro tends to not have as much of an off-season as, say, the professional sports. So, you know, check us out. What would you like to talk about, say, September, October? Um, you know, enjoy doing, love what we do. Uh, if you have any question, any question or anything going on over there? Yeah, um, people want you to pick the, uh, I believe it was Crusaders and Spartans. Like, who, who do you think would win that game? Which Spartans? There's like a thousand of them. Uh, I believe it was the Kentucky Spartans. The, the Kentucky uh, Spartans, yeah, the Marion yeah, County Crusaders. Yeah. I actually think they match up. I think they match up in a in a, in a nice way because I think the Spartans have a pretty nice secondary. Mm -hmm. um, and with Tanner Day, the Crusaders do like to throw the ball. But I think the Crusaders overall are a better team. Yeah. Um, their their line is deep. Yeah. They're their big, their, their defense is nice. Depending on where it's at, if the game is in Indianapolis, Crusaders by three touchdowns. Yeah, because Spartans don't want to travel anywhere. If it's in Owensboro, Crusaders by a touchdown. Or just throw if the it's there, neutral site in neutral Louisville. site in Louisville. Our if it's in Louisville, if it's in Louisville, yeah, that'd be that'd be a couple hours each way. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight fourteen. I, I go 28-14 Crusaders. I, I just can't, right now, I don't see a way that the Spartans could beat the Crusaders. I, I saw a lot of struggles. I know Evan's back. I don't know what, I know the kicker's been working like crazy the last couple weekends, but I, I don't see those, I don't see one or two players having that big of an effect on the Crusaders like I do the Spartans. And if they're both at full capacity, it's going to be a great game. Yeah. Like, I, I could see 42 to... 20 or 42 to 34 mm -hmm. something really fun that would be awesome but but I, I think the Crusaders they're just they're just a, a deep team uh, I was I was kind of looking at a, at a couple of I was playing with a couple of bowl games I did if, mm -hmm. if I was able to do some big bowl games in, in, in Louisville there were some things I really saw that I think would be fun. Right, right now, you have the championship. The, the first bowl, which is probably the smaller of the bowls, would be the top ten. It would be the River City Hurricanes taking on the Southern Ohio Blaze. Like, I think that's a good game. That would be a solid game. Because I feel like yeah. the Blaze are really good for their tier, which I know is not based on talent. No. But I feel like it would be a, a, a different reflections of styles, of environments, of just overall organizations. Yeah. Then you would have Tier 2, which would be the Chiefs, more likely if the winners, the Chiefs, yeah. versus the Crusaders. I think the Chiefs, Crusaders, Tanner Day versus uh, what's the AD, I think it's Antonio Davis. That sounds like a good quarterback matchup. The, the Chiefs have receivers galore. I think both number ones for both teams are really good. Yeah. Uh, Dre Reap is one. I, the other one's a Williams kid. Uh, that would be a great matchup. But, um, the, but the only the only way the Chiefs have a chance if it's at home because it's proven that they don't travel at all. So I, yeah. I, I would uh, come to Louisville. It's not far. Um, they don't. Travel w, I would like to see well. WPA Wildcats taking on the Huntsville Rockets or the Erie Express. I, yeah, actually, I, I like think that. the Rockets would be a better matchup. I don't yeah. think Erie would match up well with them. And then the, your championship game would be the Bulldogs versus the Columbus Fire, and I think that would be just an all time classic. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, the fire just—they're just—they're so good. Like watching that uh, that live feed that they had with the uh, who they played was it the Crusaders that they they went up there and they played the Columbus Fire. I don't. The fire hasn't played the Crusaders. Uh, then the team that traveled from Indy to go up there and play the Tornadoes. No, I don't. I don't think any. Yeah. I don't think the fire have played the Pitbulls. Oh yeah, opposed to the Crusaders. The, the Pitbulls. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but. Every game I've seen of the fire, the yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, solid. The, I don't, I don't. Erie would match up with WPA. Um, I, I just good games. 
have you seen any uh, film on the Erie at all? Like, I've looked. Like, I've searched YouTube, There's, Facebook. Like, I, 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 I listened to a little bit when they played the Cobras. Okay. Um, they got some playmakers. Mm -hmm. uh, they got one guy that's real nice. He's kind of an Iron Man guy. He plays all the plays. I think he's number seventeen. Um, but I just haven't played nobody. Yeah. Hey, real quick, somebody. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to just keep in here. Um, did well. The reason I didn't. Okay, so let me let me just go back to the bowl games. The reason the bowl games. Is, is what I, uh, the reason I went with those, I went the winner of each league, kind of like the BCS does, or did. Yeah, um, I would love to incorporate others. I, I would love to have the runner-up. I mean, at this point, though, you just can't have too many games. Yeah. Or unless you somehow could orchestrate, like, ten facilities to do all this. But, yeah, like, Tanks versus uh, the Storm. Well, you're going to see that this weekend. Tanks versus the Warriors. Or uh, Gladiators versus the Spartans. Because I think they both have really good offenses. Mm -hmm. Um Things like that are, are games I would love to see. Yeah, I mean, like, it would be like how the bowl games were back in the day. Like, the winner of the right. yeah. Big 12 went to the... Yeah, the exactly, ball. no matter yeah. the rank. So, yeah. uh, anybody who's aware of the fire, did they did they sign that Mike Tatum kid? The dude is, like, balling in the arena? I, I'm going to see. I didn't hear um, her here. <laughs> Sounds like I'm from I'm local now. Look at Somebody... If I have five, five bowl games, pick the things. What do you mean, Kyle? We just did. Like, are you, are you talking, do you want a, uh, uh, now, so I gave you a way via affiliation. Like, if, if, mm -hmm. if I could pick five I just want to see, uh, he's always with them, so I guess he just goes down there. Well, I mean, I, I know he was probably already on the roster, but is he, like, I, I don't imagine they're signing him right now because of the deadline. But is that the guy they're talking about? I mean, and well, and arena season is coming to an end. If you, IFL just had a championship, uh, so he could definitely be back. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, I just I didn't imagine they signed him right now. Yeah. Because that's obviously illegal in the league. But is that the Tatum kid they're talking about? No, so he's from Columbus. Okay. I, I hear great things about. Him. But if I was going to say five games, I would love to see. And I, of course, the Columbus Fire, Middle Tennessee Bulldogs. I want to see that. Yeah, I would love to see that game. Um, I really want to see. I want to see Spartans tanks. I want to see. Yeah. Uh, I want to see. I, I just kind of the ones I said though. I want to yeah. see. I want to see Crusaders Chiefs. We we we, we basically want to see the champions of of of, champions yeah. of of each each league each each tier. You know, kind of match up equivalently. So yeah. So like a MSS championship. If I could get the Spartans, if I get the yeah. Spartans Comets game from two, three years, three years ago, that one looked good. Yeah. Um, I don't want to see Titans Colts. Uh, like I want to see the exact opposite of that. I want to see I want to see a good game. I want to see guys that at any time could be a playmaker. I want, versus Warriors. I want to see games that, that yeah, tank. I mean, like, the, like the, the best games to watch are the where it's the you know the twelve to the twelve to fourteen games, and if and if ball just bounces one way or another, you know that team wins. Those are the games that we'd like to see and watch, be a part of. So I lost the, the feed. Somebody asked me tanks versus war eagles. I said tanks. Yeah, they play this week, right? Is, is that no? Tanks and storm play. Oh, tanks war storm. eagles and Duke. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anything else going on in the chat? I lost the, lost the feed. Uh, nope. It says uh, tanks got to get past the glads first. Well, they are. They already did. <laughs> they who are. said that? Who, who was that? Um, d d d d that was Curtis. Curtis. Uh, I don't know who it is. You guys are uh, Curtis Hogue. Um, Bam, thank you for all the war eagles. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, tanks are, yeah, the tanks already beat the glass. Unless he's that, unless he's talking about a different gladiator. But and and I think, look, I know they split. I know the tank, the gladiators beat them week one, which I think teams improve and yeah. they do. And the way the I've said this time and time again, the way the gladiators choked away that lead against the tanks, that takes a mental toll. 
I honestly believe if in the, if the tanks and the glads meet in the playoffs, the tanks will win by thirty. Yeah, uh, tanks are just hitting their stride, man. Like, yeah. Like, well, and, and you can't yeah. I, I, you can't be surprised. Yeah. Just kind of who they are. Mm -hmm. Um, which just for things I want to read in the comments, I don't have time to much to talk about on this. But I just want to there's a couple of questions I have in semi pro in general. Anybody know where the Toledo Thunder are? What league are they? I imagine they're still a league. I see their pictures. I don't know. Are, are they still good? Are they still one of the top teams? Um, what happened to the uh, the Portsmouth? Uh, Portsmouth seems to have a lot of I teams. know, but what was the team? They had the team that was really good. Was it the Warriors? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. What happened to them? Yeah, somebody said they're in the BGFA. What happened? Yeah, what, I mean, what happened to the... Uh, the Portmouth team that was really good. And I think it was the Warriors. Portmouth Warriors, yes. What happened to them? Who are they? Because there's a couple teams. You got the Tank. They're pretty solid. Mm -hmm. The Stealth. And the, um, there might be another team in, in or around the area. Yeah. Um, like, for some reason, I, I thought they them. had, like, four or five teams over in, in that in that. Well, they're with area. the Bucks and the Tanks. So, yeah. Makes sense. All right, guys. That's really about it. Uh, we'll be back next week with more playoff talks as the season winds down. Uh, stay safe. It, it's probably going to be 1,000 degrees. Uh, let me know at the end. You know, Let me know your scores. Let me know. Because when we get to the playoffs, I want to be able to, even though there is less games, I want to be able to dive in more with it. Um, and then we, I think next week, just to kind of get a feel for, uh, I feel like, you know, I really like the fact that we're, we're an hour and a half in and we still got around 20 views and, and guys are engaged. Um, we appreciate that. I say next next week we do like a little five, ten minute segment where you ask just questions, pro and college related. We see what a feel, see what really sticks and what really doesn't. And that way we can kind of, instead of kind of dedicating the whole show to it and risking it not going. Um, but like I said, guys, let us know what you can because when that playoffs get here, I want to be able to really dive into games and, and have all the information. If something changes, like example, the, the Mike Tatum kids of the fire, I think that's just a hat on a hat. That's a good team, get, or a great team, getting even better. Yeah. Um, but it's been out. a great show. It's a thousand degrees in here. Thank you for everything. Uh, expect uh, Check out the rankings on the YouTube. Uh, that's where we're starting to do them. And I'll put out more bracketology as the season goes on. Thanks, guys. Boom. We out, boss dog.